July 8th, 2024. This is the ultimate playlist, God's playlist. It's the last publications of the most powerful YouTube.com under Unocracy. It was the playlist creator Keith. It was destroyed by one person last night, probably was either Charles Rogers, Barry Victor Reynolds, who was the district attorney and my lawyer of Norfolk, Virginia, 411CR112, DuncanClaim.org. It could have even been Robert G. Rose. These are the last 30, and you'll notice right here, this is me, 32 views from June 11th. Notice the exact description that I was sent by God to unify 8.1 billion people. Our company is obviously worth more than 40 billion U.S. dollars. In fact, we can even use the little, I'm not sure if it'll show, there's your laser pointer. The whole system is there's now four videos of 1,200. They were all premiered recently. We haven't even published much in the last few months. 1199 also puts more than 140, in fact, millions of people into prison and, yes, death row by your actions. And this is all about Bashama, which was 1199 at Marietta, which is the Marietta Police Report. 1.112506 that proves forever that I was physically robbed of more than $40,000 Bashama used my police report to create 111171. And the weirdest thing of all, they had already signed the arrest warrant before they issued it to me on a Monday afternoon. And I was required to show up in court Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock when I was summarily arrested and forced into jail, Cobb County, because I had been robbed. Then, this one was dismissed by Barry Victor Reynolds and Cobb County District Attorney Patrick Head on exactly July 15, 2011, but no one told me. The entire system is now godsconstitution.org and unocracy.org, which is a perfected, only middle class, no debt, crime-free utopia. We also have Tamara Mock, who's helping us and Tom Hegg, call him. We're working through Peachtree Road United Methodist Church and Oak Grove United Methodist Church. And if I refresh this, all these websites, these broadcasts, go away. It's a horrible situation. The series of 1198 is actually, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven of the 1198s and the 1197s I believe is 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, six of them and then we have the 1196 series. There's more than 700 videos under the single website of that. And of course the whole system is driven now by KeithBrentDuncan.org. This is the whole answer, evote.1. We electronically vote in any person, including government and corporate level. That means that we can vote them out. By the same group that put them in power, we replace their power with someone who actually knows how to deal with the issue. Number three is the most critical, direct democracy. All leaders electronically told what to do, and we control them only in cash. Actually, kbitcoins.org. And we control their benefit package. No more stock options, corporate bonuses, secret deals, particularly no more under criminal. And this is actually terrorist Robert D. Rose. It's never been signed. Has a value of over $500 million dollars and we'll step through that in a second. And this describes all the situations of the most extreme kidnapping and persecution and almost death because Robert D. Rose did not want to go to prison. 
So these are the four key people, Robert D. Rose, Douglas Vernon Duncan, Miss Bashama, and Sherry Duncan. Those four people signed TPOs. Here's the Duncan claim. It's worth more than $500 million from the individuals that did this to you. It's always about what happened to you. And here are the outlaws that went so extreme, they literally sold off $40 billion worth of patents, intellectual property. And here, the, now the videos are unavailable. These were the 1200 series. I am the number one philosopher, psychologist, drkeith.org. I'm also the number one theologian of scripture. Here, one final time, is the, is the number six, box six is not checked. Defendant is not to possess any firearm. So I'm charged on a cancel restraining order on the right-hand side on December 13th by Attorney General Sally Q. Yates and Mary Reamer. And then the rest of the problem is they wanted to kill me. And the weirdest thing, biblical of course, was that I have SolutionDrugs.com, Solution Gun Control, everything under SolutionLawEnforcement.com and Solution Judge. So here's the proof that implicates everyone, including every judge, every police, the district attorney, ATF, William Banks, all because it's certified seal. And you'll notice that it's dated July 19, 2011. So this is as certified as you can get. And the most fundamental claim is I already was the world's last trillionaire. All the other details describe exactly how these four people got away with persecution and murder. All these videos need to be reclaimed. Call YouTube. Demand why the Unocracy, which is really the creator, Keith, one word, channel was brought down August, or excuse me, July 7, 2012. And the beauty of the website is that this has took me years to file against the USA government. The right to redress grievances against the government is really the individuals. Brian Kemp is required to sign this document. Same thing with FBI Director Chris Ray and Director, Assistant Director J.C. Hacker. There's your attorney Chris Gar. We've already talked to every one of these people at every single level for the past 15 years. So they're all guilty as heaven and hell. See how closely I did that? And it doesn't matter if these people change because they're all guilty, particularly these officers here. And the key evidence, we even delivered it to Adam Gardner and Patsy Alston Gatson. We delivered it to Major King and the Marietta Police Department. We showed them all that, the, that Nationwide owes us more than 1.5 million. Our com computers, our cars were stolen. Our Hartford claim is worth three. It's actually a $3 million. 1.2 million was taken from our home. So Nationwide owes us more than 1.2 million. And here it is. Sherry Duncan and Brian Walker sold everything off with two forged power of attorneys from October 3rd, 2013 through January 2012. Then they purposely testified against us. Here's the original Robert D. Rose faked his death. There's the original summary judgment that's worth $1.5 There's the IRS whistleblower held by Nora Beardsley and Amanda D. Houston. And here's the Canton home. Here's my brother, Doug Duncan. There's the original there. Here's a cyber criminal. Alexander Cyclone Covey, who I gave a single video to that was never shown in court that was used to create Canton. No, Cherokee County. No, Cobb County. TPO 11.1.7683. And three days later, Rose claimed that it was used as a violation, but it was never shown in court. All he had to do was release me into Federal Witness Protection Program. My other lawyers are all this really long list. Here's the number one most guilty person, 
Jimmy Deal. We did re recently contacted him direct. This man right here is a cyber criminal who threatened to kill me, literally. I've got a voice recording in front of six eyewitnesses, which were all Cobb County Sheriff deputies. Here's Matt Pettifer, who false testified, and he's the one who did an unsigned, undated arrest warrant on a two-line LinkedIn email. All the other people are criminals, and the yes, they'll be put on trial as terrorists, cyber terrorists. And here's the doctors that did this to me. They all knew I was innocent. Even Dr. Barb Searle owes me $5,000. So the rest of the document, that's just page four. Here's your most powerful writ of mandamus, which demands signatures on this one document. And it's already been signed and issued in Cobb County on May the 3rd, 2022. That's two and a half years later. Took them nine months to a year to say, oh, we don't see any crime. We're not gonna talk to anyone, and they haven't. So we're asking congressional investigations, but we're really asking for immediate town hall forums of Peace Summit 2020, and public apologies by everyone, and payback. The person who sent us to Langley Air Force Base, we've been repeating for now 13 years, was retired Congressman Buddy Darden. That's the reason I went to Langley Air Force Base, right there, asking for safe haven protection from super international terrorist Robert D. Rose and from my own terrorist brother of Cary, North Carolina. So we submitted this and it was signed the rest of the documents, there's my old address. All this is about the warrants, the documents, there's my insurance, 1.2 million, my cars, my everything. And not what never's happened is the Marietta Police in Gwinnett County have never reopened any of the report required police department report theft reports because Robert D. Rose and others told everyone to be dead silence. And that's exactly what happened. So we've already commanded GBI to directly contact Governor Kemp and Governor Kemp to contact everyone, including Washington, D.C., because everyone benefits. So here, this is the number one requirement. It's called everyone in the government to protect my, my life today because most people are going to be going 10 to 20 years in prison. And this is all the other answers, the solutions, and the data, and I was charged with a non-violation possession of a firebox, firearm, box number six. So they claimed, who were they? It was Judge Raymond Jackson and Attorney General Robert Bradhamon out of Norfolk, Virginia, claiming I might be suffering from a mental defense, mental, mental defense or a disease or defect, and they held me for two years. Two years I was kidnapped. In fact, it was a total of 900 days, and I'm counting $5,000 per day. So here's your evidence, signed by Sally Q. Gates, who's now at King & Spalding Law Firm. There's your Mary Remmer. This is all the difference. This is what the original theft was of $40,000 from my home by Ms. Bishama on February the 4th, 2011. There is no statue of limitations. And I lost $40 billion. This is my original home that was robbed by my own Duncan clan, Sherry Matthew Kyle Duncan. And then Brian Walker in February for two years sold off everything, and put cash, and then he was murdered, plain and simple. And there's your repeat of Jimmy Dale at 770-27, oh, it's 770-263-7200. And it's 3.2 million, it's actually $4.2 million that the county police owes me and the judges, everyone involved. And then here, Brian Walker was cremated as indigent. He was never autopsied to show he was indeed murdered. The top criminal charges is a really, probably the longest list in USA world history 
of all the things that happened to Keith Brandt Duncan. And I've never had a single person acknowledge anything or protect my life or demand recovery or put me on national news. So that's your job. Put me on national news at every single level. We're going to be so busy for the next five to ten years. And there is my old friend, Gwinnett County District Attorney, Danny Porter. I've got connections. But most of these people I can't find. And here, denial of weapons carry license? That makes no sense. So I got it. I already had it. Because I didn't have enough money. No cause. And here it is. I'm accused of being obstructing of justice on a false claim that I'm grandiose delusional for constantly contacting police and the FBI. How can that be their reality? It's their crime. I even had employed IRS agent Jack Fisher. There's your Wake County against the TPO I filed against Douglas Vernon Duncan the summer of 2021. The judge said I couldn't prove that Doug was in North Carolina when he threatened to kill me three times by email, which is wire fraud. Here's the other people involved, Steve Dorvey. It's basically everyone. Here's Judge McClellan. He was absolutely, he was okay, but he didn't do the pierce the corporate veil. So he personally owes me $1.5 million for not putting Robert D. Rose in prison. And there's my lawyer who I paid $27,000. All he had to do was pay off the $500 bond. And of course, I would have immediately been escorted to the FBI headquarters, put in protective witness under attorney general. And all this, you would now live in a utopia of unocracy.org. Even all my own lawyers have denied that I paid them more than $100,000 over time on the original selfie stick called icstand.org. There's my lawyer. He owes me a couple of million dollars. There's my other lawyers. These are all lawyers, by the way. This is the worst one, Phoenix Harris. For two years, she refused to have me immediately released because she knew all about the cancel restraining order. Everybody else did. And so here we have Raymond Jackson. And I fondly call him Asshold Jackson. Because it is. That's his middle initial A. Massive tortious interference. He's going to prison, probably death row. Same thing with Douglas Miller. Jill Volan. My own doctors. Darvin Hedge. Police officers. Here's the big ones. We're on page 14. There's Matt Pettifer. There's Frank Mills. He's dead now, but he was horrible. He said, how can I prove that I'd actually asked for you for federal witness protection program? It's on the transcript. So all these solutions, and they are, are worth more than $500 million. I need help. I've been asking for help the whole time, and I've already gone back to every known law enforcement group, national news media, and public. And not any time, a single time in 15 years, has anyone initially con initially acknowledged that any of these crimes occurred by these four key people? And they had already defrauded me before they filed temporary protective orders. And here's the reason. That was to stop and silence me forever. Then everybody else jumped on the criminal bandwagon, to put it politely. So this one video will go viral, and I'll finally get protection so that I won't have any more of these people destroying God's perfected no-crime utopia, eunocracy. And I was even held again for five and a half weeks at Georgia Regional Hospital when FBI agent Lynn decided I had to be medically evaluated just because she said so. That's beyond criminal intent. And then my sister was responsible behind that because she contacted the FBI to have me kidnapped when I came back after three years in the Philippines. And then I went back to the Philippines for two more years because I had no assets or no support or help 
from any of you here in the United States. So, this is all the rest of it, and I basically bonded out for $5,000. Sherry got the $5,000 back in September of 2011, before I was brutally cyber-tracked and kidnapped October 3rd, 2011. So this is a perfected lawsuit. I'm not the one making excuses. Everyone else is. Everyone refused to order arrests of anyone. And I paid Barry Victor Reynolds to go, to go directly to the FBI and the press way back in March. And he kept saying this. He quoted, Oh, these things take time. And Patrick Head was intent on prosecuting Keith for stealing my own assets. The third illegal detainment was right here. October 3rd, that went for 848 days, which is $5,000 per day. And there's your Alexander Cyclone Covey. The fourth detainment was when? The whole time. Based on there, it was from December 13th all the way to exactly January 28th, 2014, based on a dismissed restraining order. There's all the answers you need. So 900 days, I've already asked for entry into Federal Witness Protection Program, which I do again today on July 8th, 2024. I have every single solution. I'm richer than King Solomon and Jesus Christ combined. So there's the answer for the day. This is a 21 minute video, actually 22.